as the women roll away. We'll agree that this is a big surprise. She's a big danger and could be the next wearer of the yellow jersey. So there is Trixie Warak taking the top step of the podium. She's checking who's chasing her. Three seconds here, puts her the leader on the road and no one is going to touch her. Racing here in California against an internationally talented field of racers. Mountains, lakes, you have a lot of sunshine. These courses are just unbelievably awesome. It's a very special, very special race. Women's racing is really exciting to watch because it's a little bit shorter than men's racing. It's often more aggressive. It's fun to watch. It's super competitive, it's super fast. The races are short and exciting. I think for, for a lot of teams, it's survival of the fittest. It's always been very important for us, working with our partners to promote our overall commitment to women's cycling. The Lexus vehicle there is going to give Trixie a tour of Sacramento. It was a lot of work today to get the seconds and yeah, we are really happy. We're seeing major players out there really investing in women's racing and women's cycling. For us to do it here is you know, it's terrific and I think we can just continue to build beyond this three-stage format. To have a race that's running alongside the men's in this way is just huge in women's cycling. There's not that many races that have such a strong feel. We're here to race and we want to race just as much as the men. We're strong athletes too. I think it's really important to get the younger women into the sport. It's not just riding a bike. Riding the bike is a fun part. Young girls who are standing on the sideline will see the sport in person and as a result will get on a bike and be in world championships in 10 years time.